Do most pens have a break-in period out of the box, or should they write perfectly immediately? Okay, very fair question. I totally get where you're coming from. Perfect is a word that I don't like to use around fountain pens because they're very subjective, and what's perfect to some people is not perfect to other people. There's no one standard for what a perfect writing fountain pen is, but I get what you're saying in general. Should it perform well out of the box, or is it going to perform perhaps differently, have a little bit of a break-in period, just like when you buy a new car, it might be a little stiff. As you drive it for a few thousand miles, it's gonna break in a little bit, you know, because the machining and stuff's gotta kinda, kinda break in. Um, mostly it should perform pretty well out of the box. Um, you might have a little bit of a break-in period. I think most of that break-in period um, is going to be with the flow of the pen, particularly if you have an ebonite feed, um, but it can happen with other feeds too. There might be uh, a little bit of machining oil. There might be, you know, um, just small bits of debris or something like that left over from the manufacturing process. So it's never a bad idea to clean your pen before you use it. It's not always required. It's not like if you don't, your pen's not gonna work. But whenever I have a pen, you know, I usually don't have the patience to clean a pen because I'm at my desk and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna walk all the way over and clean the pen. So I'm just too excited, let me ink it up. But if I ever have any type of a trouble or missed expectation with a pen, I'll immediately clean it because I'm like, all right, it's a new pen. Let me clean it out, try it again. Honestly, like 80% of the time, if there is any issue with it, just cleaning it right away makes the difference. So it's always a good practice to keep in mind. Um, so that's something to, to consider. Um, but um, I think uh, everything should fit well. It should look good. You know, there may be certain things like if you're if certain parts are a little stiff, or if you have something like a snap cap, the snap might be a little tighter. That may break in a little bit over time as it gets used. Um, you know, the threads, if you have certain threads that feel a little rough, just a, just a little bit, it's not like it's gonna be like scratching and then it's ultimately gonna feel buttery smooth. It should more or less feel like it does, but there may be a little bit that, that kind of smooths out, evens out a little bit. So you'll get some of that, but basically the way that it writes should more or less be the way that it is. Because if you think about it, these nibs, you know, they're very durable. They're made to last a very, very long time. So they're not gonna change drastically in any kind of a super short period. Um, I think honestly what happens most of the time, I've talked about this before, but I think most of the time it's, I've, I've talked about this before in terms of you should you lend your pen to someone else because it's, you know, conforms to the way you write and yada, 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 uh, sort of. But honestly, I think it's more that the writer conforms to the way that the pen writes because <laughs> you're way more adaptable and you're thinking and you're softer and you're, you know, you're more malleable in terms of your psyche and your hand and stuff like that uh, than the pen or the nib is. Um, certainly someone could ruin a pen by, you know, mashing the nib. Um, but in terms of the subtleties of how much is it gonna break in, all that kind of stuff, it's not gonna be a drastic difference. Um, if a pen's not working super, super great and, and it's just not quite where you want it to be, it could be that over a couple of weeks, it kinda, it kinda eases in a little bit, the flow starts to be better, maybe it smooths out a little bit. Because you are, when you're writing on paper, you are essentially, um, you know, micro polishing that nib because the paper has the slightest amount of, of feedback to it, um, which in, in essence polishes the nib. Um, but it's, it's not gonna be drastic. It's not like you're gonna have this really toothy pen and after you use it for a month or two, it's suddenly gonna be buttery smooth. That's where it would require maybe some smoothing out and stuff like that. But again, every manufacturer does it differently. So it's not like there's one standard for how smooth the pen should write or how wet the flow should be. Every manufacturer has their own standard, so it may be that you get it and you're like, this pen's not writing well, it's da 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 but that's actually how they intend it to write. It's just, you may be a slightly different preference. So that's where it's good to really do your research, to know, you talk to our team, read reviews, all these types of things can really be helpful to get your proper expectations. And then uh, consider breaking yourself into the pen as much as anything. Um, the um, ink, you know, could take a little, I talked about the ink taking a little while to get flowing. Yep, I just talked about that out of order. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so all this to say, I think largely the pens should write pretty well out of the box. Um, you shouldn't expect anything too drastic, but certainly there will be a little bit of uh, accommodating that both you and the pen can make to be a good match to each other. It's really gonna be kind of a judgment call.